playing Endless Ocean's Rayleigh Shark, Great Light Shark, Dumbo Shark, Basket Shark, all the other sharks and more now in this game. Wait, and if you think that's all, there's a stink in the moors. Where's the Mosasaurus? Mosasaurus. Bellum Knight. This mo- So this is right after the introduction to the game. You can discover many living organelles in the VLC, including tiny and huge creatures. They don't appear anywhere else on the planet. The VLC is the ocean we dive in. We've arrived at the canyon. As you can see, there's only a narrow passage between the cliffs. Our destination is a nearby cave. I'll mark its location for you. Down currents tend to occur in areas like this, that have steep drop-offs. A down current occurs because the water is actually falling into the crevice, toward the seafloor. Isn't nature fascinating? You will notice a large reef composed of many diverse species of coral. We call this the world coral. It's home to a unique ecosystem, with numerous creatures living in and around it. Research shows it is critical to sustaining life throughout the Veiled Sea. But look here. Some parts of it are dying. The cause of this necrotizing effect isn't currently understood, but it appears to be spreading, gradually killing this bustling hub of underwater life. If the necrosis continues, a point of no return will be reached. The world coral will die. It is a critical part of the ecosystem in the Veiled Sea, so such an event would profoundly impact life here and in the surrounding ocean. Project Aegis was founded to investigate why this is happening and stop the necrosis before it's too late. You are now the newest member of Project Aegis. Welcome. Ready to get started? Of course, as your assistant AI, I'll continue to provide you with navigational guidance and research support. I should note that you will not be allowed to return to the World Coral, without specific clearance from HQ. Now that you've gotten a good look at it, we'd better be on our way. Huh? My sensors are showing an increase in activity. Analyzing. The c analyzing. Can, can you translate? I detect unusual biometric signs nearby. Caution advised. Sending emergency transmission to HQ. Major disruption occurring at the World Coral. Researchers in the area may be in danger. There it is, and it's enormous. It looks like an extremely large variant of Coelacanth. I've searched our database, and there are few examples of a Coelacanth of that size, or with that golden coloring. I understand you want to investigate, but it's not safe.
seismic activity detected. The There's a risk that that creature will be agitated. I advise not to go near it. Use a dolphin kick to get away faster. You should be out of danger now. And your vitals readout indicates you're not hurt. It's unusual to have such a strange experience on your first expedition. Then again, this is called the ocean of mystery for a reason. I hope we meet that creature again. But first, you'll be learning about salvage from one of the other divers on the team. Chapter because of stuff I already you already should know how to do. And you're going to skip it. Just First thing to do whenever you join a dive is check your map screen to get an idea of how your dive is going. Tips, guys. When you scan a creature, creatures A is something less. Hello there. I see someone has decided to join us for your last day of training. Daniel must be feeling competitive after you found the mystery board. Today, you'll be free to make your own way through the Veiled Sea, using what you've learned as you explore. You may notice that creatures are easier to see after you scan them, since the shroud of light around them goes away. HQ's working hypothesis is there are luminous bacteria that get repelled by electromagnetic waves from our scanning arrays. This process is known as collecting light. Transmission from HQ. We have updated information about the status of the World Coral. HQ monitoring systems have detected light emissions at the World Coral and a concomitant reduction in necrotic matter. It seems that somehow, light is returning to the World Coral and restoring it. Look at that. It's the same large coelacanth that we encountered last time. Risk level, moderate. 
While its temperament toward humans is unclear, the creature does not seem as agitated as last time. I advise trying to scan it. But please be careful. You did it. Scan successful. I'll transmit our data on the Supersize Coelacamp to headquarters. HQ has assigned this new species the name Raja Emma's, which translates to Golden King. It's never been studied before, so needless to say, the data you gathered will be quite illuminating. You may not know that HQ maintains a numbered database of unidentified marine life, or UMLs for short. By scanning Raja Emma's, you've officially discovered a UML. Congratulations! Your career with Project Aegis is off to a promising start. Strangely, it seems to have started shining in response to your discovery of Raja Emma's. It appears you were right. We'll have to keep an eye on the mystery board as we do our research. And with that, your training is now concluded. Between finding the mystery board and discovering Raja Emma's, it's been an eventful few days. I look forward to working with you both again. Happy diving! There's 99 mysteries in this thing. What's this say? A new chapter in the story has been unlocked. You can access the open story. Yeah, yeah the chapters are kind of short. We're not now, we're out of training! Training and into the sea where I'm going to scan a lot of creatures and heal the world crew by scanning stuff. Yeah, because for some reason that's how it works. I am Sarah, your survey, exploration, and research assistant AI, and I'm here to support you both for today's dive. Early this morning, we received an emergency transmission from HQ. A large population of Crown of Thorns starfish was reported in the area. That is what concerns HQ. You've been tasked with investigating the problem. Please scan 10 starfish each so HQ can learn how to resolve the situation. Easy! You found one. Nice work. By 
the way, do you remember when we touched on sharing? Your suit contains a function that will automatically connect you to nearby researchers, forming a sharing link. The, share the more sharing links you have, the more rewards you'll receive and the more tags you will get. I recommend forming as many of these connections as you can. Crown of Thorns Starfish.
Good job. You're nearly done. Researchers are evaluated based on four. It's always a good idea to check your evaluation. You scanned 10 Crown of Thorns starfish. It's not uncommon for HQ to inform us about a mission while we're in the middle of a dive, like they did today. For example, when HQ detects that there is an unusual creature in your area, a search and scan mission will be initiated. Yeah, I've done that before, that's happened to me before, like seriously. When you receive one of these missions, be sure to check your map so you can find the life form and collect data on it. These appear to be tiger sharks, an aggressive and highly omnivorous species. Marine animals in this area are quite sedate. There's little risk they will attack you. The light has a calming effect on them. They went away. I'll send HQ the data you gathered so that they can address the situation. A lot. Please. Okay, we're doing we're doing some dying. We're gonna because we have to to continue. And don't worry, there might be an IML in these dives. Like seriously, there might be. Yeah. We're gonna be doing well with other people, but by my luck, other people never show up.
Transmission from HQ. Your scanner will also flash orange when you're getting close to one of the target. Dubia. This deep sea creature is composed of a cap part, called an emotophore, and a thread-like stem. It can grow up to 40 meters in length and is a gregarious organism composed of numerous small individuals. Each of these individuals serves a purpose, be it predator, defender, reproducer, or something else. Unfortunately, its form is very fragile and collapses easily, making it difficult to capture. Hmm? 
Long nose lands at fit. targets have been scanned and the mission is complete. Well done. Transmission from HQ. A very large source of strange biometric signs has been detected nearby. We are sending footage from the drone closest to the site. Based on the ping, it's likely Raja Emma's. Maybe it turned transparent again, and that's why we can't see it.
we discovered Raja Emma's headquarters wants to know more about this creature's ability to become transparent. Please scan it and send the data. Transmission from HQ, data on Raja Emma's received. Thank you. The creature's ability. The
Get some ghoul creatures. Go and see holes. That's where all the good creatures are. We have. I, I've only been in the frozen sea for a short time, and I couldn't find a lot of creatures. Okay. Sure. to say that I've never really dived in the frozen sea. <laughs> I am Sarah. 
I am Sarah, your survey, exploration, and research assistant AI, and I'm here to support you both. The region we are entering is notable for its extreme cold and its icy conditions. The fish and marine mammals inhabiting the area have adapted to survive the frigid temperatures. It should be a fascinating dive. Are you ready to explore? What do you think I'm in charge of first? Daniel, you do not appear to be moving. Why? Your suit is designed to maintain a safe, climate-controlled environment, even in extreme temperatures. Please come. We collected a larger than usual quantity of light today. This has not thawed since the most recent ice age, over 10,000 years ago. The planet has experienced at least three ice ages. By studying this ice formation, we might learn more about life during those periods. Transmission from HQ. The condition of the world coral continues to improve. Increased luminescence in the area seems to have a healing effect on the coral. It would seem that way. Now that our mission is concluded, it's time to return to the ship. Warning. Comms failure. 
Contact with HQ is impossible at this time. Yes, a flash of light in the depths. Let's take a look. Transmission from HQ. A UML may be in this area. To locate it, please scan the other anomalous creatures marked on your map with orange circles. Your scanner will also flash orange when you're getting close to one of the targets. Good luck. There's orange circles everywhere. They're like following me. Large! That's almost 1,000. Oh, 
was the one that went to you, though. Yeah, I know. You can tell that camera. Blue! 
All targets have been scanned and the mission is complete. Well done. Transmission from HQ, multiple anomalous biometrics multiple. detected in the area. Drone Sending drone footage. Yeah, you don't want to watch this. It's, it's an AML, identified object. <coughs> Here we are. They look like seahorses, but most seahorses don't get that big. It's letting out bubbles, large ones. Why could it be doing that? The smaller ones are spinning in circles, almost as if they're dancing. Can you scan the larger specimens so HQ can analyze? Yeah! If I know where they were! Creature added to you. The